much as we have disagreed historically about who constitutes the American people, those disagreements remind us that being American is something that can be argued over, it's something that people can become, it's something that we must work together to achieve. That is, to me, ultimately, what it means to be an American. I think what maybe we need to do is just broaden our definition of American here. Here in Hawaii and around the nation, there is a tendency to teach multicultural ed as though culture is bounded and finite instead of the collisions and the migration and the negotiation. We are the melting pot. There's no need to be afraid, people. We're tapping into the human genius that exists in all peoples. I wanted to really respect and really understand and empathize with every character, from the most evil villain to the family unit at home. There is an ugly thread that is part of what it means to be an American, and we don't like seeing that in the mirror. We're allowed to have those conversations. We're allowed to sit through what it means to be an American and beat each other over the head with the Constitution and the flag as much as it takes till we finally get somewhere. That was fun. Um, we, there are two of us going around with microphones. Please raise your hand. Anyone have a question? Hello, everyone. My name is Tamika Coney, writer, producer. My name is Jorge Hernandez Rodriguez. My name is Lisa Alva. I'm a Lima Blyden, and I write and teach about African immigration. My name is John Lambden. Hey, nice shirt. Hey. <laughs> Great album. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I won't get into that, but... Uh, <laughs> This question is for all of you guys. So my question is, who can and who cannot afford to be innovative, and who can and can't afford to fail in America? Part of getting to the civility that Steve was talking about is for us to make a conscious effort to get to know people who don't start from the same place and try to understand why they come from where they do. This is what we need right now, yeah. people talking to each other, dialogues generated. It means a willingness to never stop working to improve what we are and how we perform. And I think Americans do that. If we don't have a common place where we can talk to each other, how do we bring America together? Right.